Well, as we all know, the boy is safe and sound. What can I say after several days of being captivity? I mean, we all happy that at least this boy has a chance to live. And, you know, and it's pretty difficult because, I mean, the man that was taking that boy hostage, you know, killed a bus driver who did the best he could to save, you know, his passenger. And now we realize that, you know, now we know that he is dead and we don't know if the policeman got him or he blew his own brains out. And unfortunately, we really don't know that at this point because it is something that investigators are trying to get to the bottom of it. But as for the five-year-old, I mean, of course, he feels pretty happy that he is back with his family. But um, but I don't know if but I don't know if that ordeal below he would have fed him really, because as you know, he is an autistic like myself, and you know, and I think that I don't know if that might affect that you know, in his personality, but bottom line is, is that when those people set, got him in safety, he feels pretty happy, and he was laughing, you know, and, um, and yeah, what can I say, thank you, Jesus.